Hi, this is Maya from Spring Tree Road Hand Spun Yarn, and these are 14 of the yarns that I have ready to go in my shop for my next shop update, which is Thursday, July 22nd, 2010. I'm going to put all of these in my big cartel shop, and that I think will give my regular customers the opportunity to shop without quite the... Uh, fray that sometimes goes on on Etsy. Um, eventually I will probably move some of, of them over to the Etsy shop but uh, I'm trying to, I don't know, just refine my process of how I do this thing with both shops and all that. Uh, it's a work in progress. <laughs> so um, let's see, I've got thick and thin yarns and then I've got regular yarns. The thick and thin yarns, let's see, this one and this one, these two, um, I'm sort of calling them a boy-girl yarn and I'm going to list them together and that will give a person the opportunity to get them both because they match boy-girl. Uh, exact same colors, there's very pale yellow, uh, brown, golden green and then blue for the boy and pink for the girl. Um, after, I don't know, 24 hours or so, if, uh, if I don't have any takers, then I will separate them into separate listings. But I just thought I'd try it to see how that goes and uh, just do something a little different. Give you the opportunity to get them together so it's not, I don't know, seems less stressful to me. But we'll see how that goes. Um, this one, hydrangea. Um, I do two. I do hydrangea and I do forget-me-not. Hydrangea is more blue, forget-me-not is more purple, and when I dye the wool, I never know which one it's going to be. It's the same dye. It's just a little, if you put a little bit more in, then you get the purple. A little bit less, you get the blue, but it's it can be hard to figure out which one it's going to be. So this one's hydrangea. Uh, we have this one. It's called Catcher. It's um, dark purple, olive. Kind of woodsy colors, uh, brown. I'm seeing uh, there's aqua and a little, it's not really yellow, it's sort of golden. And uh, I think that's kind of cool looking for fall. Um, this one is called Shisui, it, which is a type of koi fish. I couldn't just name it koi because, I don't know, a lot of people name their yarn koi when it's turquoise and orange. I just wanted to call it something different. So, um, this one is Merino Tencel, so it's got the shine from the Tencel, but it's a thick and thin yarn, and I think it will knit up nicely. I think it's really pretty. This one is Sweet Gum, and this one is Sweet Gum. I have a fingering weight Sweet Gum in BFL in my Etsy shop right now. This one's worsted weight. This is Merino, obviously. It's thick and thin. And it's the exact same dye, same colors, etc. And this is just an example of, of something I can do. Like if you see um, a yarn like, say, this one, and you think, wow, I really love those colors, but I need it in a thick and thin yarn, I can do that. So just email me, and I can we can talk about a custom order. This one's called Autum Autumnal. It's, um, I did this one last fall. Uh, and I like it. It's pretty. It's uh, red, gold, and pumpkin. Very pretty. We have these two are the um, dyed on the uh, mixed BFL, Blue Face Leicester wool, which is the, the wool comes as a naturally colored ecru, 75%, 25% chocolate colored. So when you dye it, the um, the ecru takes it the dye colors lighter than the uh, chocolate does, and it just makes I think it's really pretty. So we have one which is when I name them like I do this this colorway, which is um, a golden green, pumpkin, and a chocolatey brown, and I call it honeycomb. Okay. But then when I do it dyed on the BFL, I call it dark honeycomb. So that's dark honeycomb. 
This colorway is going to be called Figment, so on the dark, uh, the mixed BFL, it's called Dark Figment, and it's uh, pine green, chocolate brown, and chili pepper red. This one is different for me. Um, I don't usually do colors that look like this. I don't know if you can, how well you can see it in the, um, with the camera. But the, it's peach and avocado, and both of those dyes I noticed in using them on other yarns, they have, um, if they separate a little bit, um, they uh, have gray in them, so I thought, well, why fight it? Let's put it together with some gray. I named it um, Tunner, which is a character in uh, the book and the movie, um, The Sheltering Sky. Uh, sometimes I get all, I don't know, artsy like that. I don't know if you'd call it artsy or just odd, but that's, that's me. Okay, um, so that's interesting. This is, I don't know, it's like I like it, but... I guess it's just not something that I would wear personally, but I thought, you know, it's good to do things that I wouldn't necessarily wear personally because you never know. Someone else is going to see and go, oh my goodness, that's gorgeous. So, Tunner. This one, I love, I love this. It's a really deep pumpkin, pumpkin-y color, which, you know, speaking of things I wouldn't necessarily wear, I'd wear it on my hands, but not near my face because I look terrible in orange. But I love orange so much, and um, I actually had to mix dye colors to get this color. I don't just have a dye this color, so that was kind of fun to see if I could do it, and I think it turned out, and I love it. This one was meant to be sort of the companion of the, it's the same browns. I wanted to do some boy yarns, um, something you could knit for, you know, your husband, boyfriend, brother, son, etc. Um, this one I'm calling Fortress, and it's brown and a dark blue. And last but not least, this one. Um, this one, I don't know why, I'm calling it Township. I don't know, sometimes these names just come to me. When you have to think of a lot of names at once, it's just sort of, oh, that'll work. Um, it's merino, and it's it's not really thick and thin. I mean, there are thicker th places and thinner places. But it's a cranberry color. It's got a little bit of gray and a little bit of, I don't know, brownish cranberry. And that's it. I think I, I have two more, and then maybe two more beyond that. We'll just see how my time works out. But those are my yarns for this time. If you have any special requests for color combinations or anything, uh, just let me know. Okay, thanks. Thanks for watching. Talk to you next time.